Uh, come on up here with me, honey. We got a special treat this morning. Last week we were talking about miracles. Yes. Hallelujah. It was good, huh? Hallelujah. And uh, this morning you got a, a, even a bigger treat. Some of you may have remembered Alex and Lauren. Alex was here. Uh, Burgos was here a few weeks ago. I mentioned his amen. Yes, hey, I remember. Uh, this is his father-in-law, uh, Doug. And Doug has been here before. But uh, if you look in your bulletin, you'll see he's been on 110 crusades. And he didn't even know that I put this in the bulletin. But uh, I call, called him at, by night a crusader for the Lord. And so these are actual pictures. I have lots of pictures from my time with him, so I thought it surprised him. But, you know, by day, he's a foot soldier. You know, he loves, whenever we go on a crusade, and I've only been on one with Doug. We're going to be going uh, again in June, actually. Uh, with that, Josh Sarah from our church is going to be joining uh, Doug and two of my granddaughters, uh, my wife and myself. It's been about five years since we've been in the field. But miracles happen all around Doug. And one of the reasons I think that happens, and it happens around Steve Island, you know, they always have a smile on their face. I've never seen them without a smile. I don't care. One time I said, Doug, get that silly grin off your face. And he said, he just kind of looked at me. Basically, you can't get it off his face. You can't get it. You know, so then I got convicted and I'm like, okay, Lord, put the silly grin on my face. And, but it's not a silly grin. It's the joy of the Lord. So this morning you got a very special treat. Um, but I mentioned uh, to you last week some of the miracles that had happened when we were with Doug. I'm not going to go over that again. But 110 crusades all over the world. 20 to a minimum of 20, but generally over 40,000 people at every crusade. Countless souls come and accept the Lord. And I told you, he said, my message is short. And he's not going to give his message this morning. Uh, that he gives when he's on the field because he's told me you're in for a treat. I'm not even going to steal any of the thunder. But uh, I will ask you this. Are you ready for the presence of God? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you like the fire to fall a little bit more? I hope so because you're going to get a double barrel. Um, okay, so we can have time for Doug to come up here. Amen. I'm going to take the mic and invite all of us, all of you, to come next week ready to feast on the culinary delights of Carmen, Sarah, and possibly friends. But they're doing this as a fundraiser to raise the money needed for Joshua, Sarah, to go on the mission field. So we invite you to come and, and join us for lunch. It's not a covered dish, although you're welcome to bring something if you want to, but we are going to be taking up offering a contributions of any size will be accepted, okay? So we want you to come and support Josh, Sarah, on his mission trip to the Dominican Republic, which will be in June. Okay. Amen? Well, so, yeah, she's a good cook. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Doug, why don't you come on up here? We'll uh, let you get started with the Word of God and whatever God's going to dish out to us this morning. Something stirring, it's good, man. And I am happy about it. So 
I'm at home wherever the presence of God is. And listen, man, these are people, they're making a sacrifice. They're moving. See, revival is about change. And, and, and if you want revival, you have to change. And I'm asking you to change your seats. Come over here. Listen, this is this is the splash zone. You don't want to. I mean, if you go to SeaWorld, man, you want to get up on the first few rows, man, where you're going to get saturated and wet. And, and even if the preacher spits a little, you might catch some. You know? I hope that doesn't happen today. Somebody pray for me. Praise the Lord. Listen, man, that, that, that takes courage to be moved like that, you know? A little closer. That's, that's almost obedience. But anyway. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. It's all good. Listen, do you have that video ready? Yes, sir. Can we just show that? Because a lot of people here, they, I, I don't recognize them. They may not know and have a clue of what we do. Is that Drake in the back there? Yes, sir. Oh, my Lord. Son, you're wearing purple today. You're looking good. Good to see you, man. Go ahead and roll that tape. I love you, Drake. 